The Midlife Cyclist by Phil Cavill is a comprehensive guide for cyclists over 40 who are motivated to push their limits, improve performance, and maintain health. The book addresses the unique considerations and challenges that accompany the aging process and how these factors can influence one's ability to train, recover, and perform at their best. Cavell begins by emphasizing the importance of acknowledging the biological and physiological changes that occur in the body as it ages. Decreased metabolism, reduced muscle mass, hormonal variations, and increased risk of injury are a few challenges older cyclists face. Cavell argues that by understanding these changes, midlife cyclists can better craft training regimes and lifestyle choices aimed at mitigating negative effects while enhancing performance. He discusses the advantage of experience and wisdom that older cyclists have, which can be leveraged for smart training. Cavell encourages prioritizing quality over quantity when it comes to training schedules, recognizing that recovery takes longer as we age and the body responds differently to stress. He advises incorporating rest days, getting adequate sleep, and paying attention to the body's signals to prevent overtraining and injuries. Cavell addresses the topic of health and the role of cycling in promoting longevity and well-being. He discusses how regular exercise, such as cycling, can help manage or prevent chronic diseases, maintain healthy weight, improve mental health, and contribute to a better quality of life. He emphasizes the need for a comprehensive approach to health that includes a balanced diet, regular health checkups, and being mindful of one's body through all stages of life. The book delves into the specifics of designing a training program that suits the needs of the midlife cyclist. Cavell recommends a variety of workouts, including endurance rides, interval training, strength and conditioning exercises, and flexibility routines. Each type of workout serves a purpose in enhancing cardiovascular health, muscular strength, and overall mobility, all of which are key components of a successful cycling regimen for the older athlete. Nutrition is a cornerstone of performance, and Cavell dedicates a section to its importance. He outlines the necessity of a well-balanced diet rich in nutrients, adequate protein intake for muscle repair, and the role of carbohydrates and fats as fuel sources. Hydration before, during, and after rides is also highlighted as a critical element, especially since the ability to recognize thirst may diminish with age. Cavell goes on to cover the subject of equipment and the importance of having a bike that is properly fitted to the individual's body. An ill-fitting bike can cause discomfort and lead to inefficiencies or injuries. He advises seeking professional bike fitting services and being open to adjusting one's setup as the body changes over time. Injury prevention and management are subjects Cavell explores in depth. He goes into the common types of injuries that can ail cyclists, such as knee pain, back discomfort, and repetitive strain injuries. Cavell gives advice on how to avoid these issues through proper form, adequate warm-up and cool-down routines, and strength training that targets the muscles supporting the cycling motion. Should injuries occur, he stresses the importance of appropriate treatment and rehabilitation before returning to full training intensity. The mental aspects of cycling, including motivation, goal setting, and dealing with the psychological challenges of aging are also acknowledged in the book. Cavell encourages the midlife cyclist to find personal motivation, set realistic and challenging goals, and to enjoy the journey of cycling rather than purely focusing on outcomes. He also offers insight into the value of companionship and community in cycling, highlighting how group rides and clubs can provide camaraderie and support. As technology continues to play a significant role in training and performance, Cavell discusses the use of gadgets and data analysis. From power meters to heart rate monitors and fitness trackers, he examines how these tools can be utilized to track progress, plan workouts, and measure performance gains. However, he also warns of becoming too reliant on data and potentially losing touch with the body's own feedback mechanisms. Looking to the future, Cavell brings attention to the potential long-term effects of intense cycling training on the body, arguing for the need to be mindful of one's overall health and wellness. He suggests that cyclists over 40 should engage in additional activities that complement cycling, such as cross-training, yoga, and Pilates, to maintain balance and prevent overuse injuries. To conclude, the midlife cyclist, 
serves as a practical and comprehensive manual for the older cyclist seeking to maximize performance while also prioritizing health and longevity. Cavell's experience in the field, combined with scientific insights, provides readers with the tools necessary to navigate the complexities of cycling past the age of 40. His guidance is intended to inspire and empower readers to maintain their passion for cycling, adapt to their changing bodies, and achieve new heights in their athletic pursuits without compromising their well-being. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.